Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for March 13th of 2023, well, it is titled Rainbow Tree. So what do we see here? Well, here we see what ha what is at the end of the rainbow, and it turns out it's a tree. Or at least it is in this case. Uh, certainly the position of the rainbow would depend on where you are. And if you were to move a little bit from the position where the photographer took this image, then the rainbow would not appear to end at the tree, because it's simply a matter of the perspective of the rainbow forming itself. However, the rainbow is uh, caused by the light from the sun that is then reflected and refracted through raindrops. So we see them after a thunderstorm generally, which is when there are still raindrops in the atmosphere. And when the sunlight is bent through these, it splits it up into its component colors and gives a rainbow on the other side of the sky. So the sun would be behind the photographer in this case off to the distance and the rainbow here, at least part of it, stretching up above. Now a rainbow will actually form a full circle. However, that's difficult to see on Earth because our horizon gets in the way. If you've ever had the chance to see a rainbow from up above in the atmosphere, say from an airplane, you will see that a rainbow does form a complete circle uh, around the uh, around the sky. So it will form 360 degrees. When we are on Earth, we get gets cut off by the horizon, giving the illusion that the rainbow ends someplace. But it really just can, would just continue on if it were not for the horizon and the Earth's surface in the way. Now when we see a rainbow, as I've said, it generally means there has recently been a storm. So the question would be, could we see a rainbow on another planet? Well, we discussed that a rainbow is formed by water vapor, and we are really the only planet with water vapor in its in the atmosphere, at least within our own solar system. Other objects within our solar system, though, could potentially have something similar to a rainbow with some other liquid, whether it be perhaps sulfuric acid droplets in Venus or methane in the atmosphere of Saturn's moon Titan. Of course, the difficulties with those is that they have very thick, uh, cloudy atmospheres and don't have the clear view that we can often get through our own atmosphere. So we do see very prominently here, especially in this nicely set up image for today, that we have a tree at the end of a rainbow here on Earth. So that was our picture of the day for March 13th of 2023. It was titled Rainbow Tree. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.